guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, Corey and I are going cake tasting at Miss Card's Cakes, I believe is the name. It's a little outside of Jacksonville, Oregon. <laughs> Just a little outside. This is funny. I think it's at her home, I think. What do you think? We found her on all the wedding websites. She's a preferred vendor for a lot of people. Um, but the cake that we're looking forward to is the lavender cream cheese cake. So let's go. Is, she must make a lot of cakes. Holy cow. Just find a on cakes. <laughs> we just got here and the house is huge. Was not expecting this. Okay, let's go. Cake tasting went well. I will um, insert the footage either now or somewhere in here on the cakes. But I think what we narrowed it down to is a um, solid cake. So like a flat, not textured cake with, hi babe. Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> um, a smooth cake with blush pink as the color in the middle and then white on the top and the bottom or a gradient between white on the top and then blush pink at the bottom since blush pink and white are our colors in addition to a lot of greenery and then I would bring in flowers um, for her to put on the cake so we <laughs> if our wedding isn't until 2019 then we wouldn't get a hold of her until the first of next year how sad how sad. <laughs> We're just gonna get married this year instead and do August like I wanted. Um, but the cake testing went well. I think what we're gonna do is do either a lavender cake with cream cheese or do a um, pink champagne cake and then when it gets closer to the wedding date, whenever that is, we're going to try the pink champagne cake with a strawberry or raspberry fruit filling, which would be really tasty, I think. The cake tasting went super well. Um, we tried a chocolate cake with a chocolate mousse. Not a big fan of chocolate cake, but it was pretty tasty. Um, we tried a strawberry with a cream cheese filling, a lavender with a cream cheese filling, poppy seed with lemon, and a poppy seed with blueberry, which tastes just like a a muffin it was so good I think the lemon and the blueberry with the poppy seed were really overwhelming so if you don't like cake or really strong cake I wouldn't do that um, it's funny because we're not actually cake people we prefer pie over cake but I want the tradition of cutting the cake and having a really pretty cake for pictures no because <laughs> we're not cutting the pie um, so One thing I did realize that I like though is there's the option of cakes where you know you have a three-tiered cake and it's the same width or you have the option of the middle being a smaller width and kind of playing with the sizes rather than all one size. I do really like the writing on the cake. I think that's really 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 pretty. I don't know what I would have it say yet but I think I really want to do that. Um, if you do want writing on your cake or you like that design as well, then it can't be done on buttercream, of course, so then it would be a fondant frosting and buttercream frosting or a buttercream cake for Miss Card's Cakes is $5 a serving um, and then it's $6 a serving if you want the um, fondant. So. That's all the information that I have so far on cakes. So far, so good. Um, her cakes, are, her cake designs are beautiful. I am gonna follow her on Instagram to check out her recent cakes that she's been doing. She did say that she just made a blush pink cake, which I'm obsessed with. 
since I love blush pink. Um, but I will link her information down below if you do live in the same area as me and you are wedding cake shopping as well. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was somewhat informative. Sorry I couldn't get any footage of the actual tasting. I always feel really awkward just whipping out a GoPro and recording myself. <laughs> do you have any final words, babe? No? No. Can you not be awkward on the camera? <laughs> Okay, well, that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.